Hey guys, welcome back to another can review. Today we're checking out Midnight Brewing's Mitternacht. So uh, this one is an Oktoberfest, again. We are in the month of October, so that's what we're doing. Pop the top, give it a little pour. So these guys are pretty local to where we are. Well, I wouldn't say that local, but yeah, they're in the same state. That's close. We drink beers from all over the place, so there you go. Brewed and bottled in Goochland County. That always gets me, Goochland. Uh, this traditional Oktoberfest is rich and malty with a clean, smooth flavor. The initial malty sweetness with noble hops makes for a balanced finish. We'll see about that. I like the can, uh, the bottle rather. The artwork is pretty cool. It's really minimalistic, but um, it shows your traditional checkerboard, um, you know, kind of Oktoberfesty colors and triangles. Midnight Brewery. Well, this is the first beer I've ever had from them. Have you ever been there? No. Well. It smells malty. Yeah. Right up front it smells like uh, caramel mm -hmm. and malt and toastiness and sweetness. It's amber colored. Looks like a traditional Oktoberfest style. Mm. I think this one's going to be very similar to the Smart Mouth one that we had. All right. Anyway, well, cheers. We're going to have to find out with our taste buds. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not at all. It's it's way less sweet. It's it's yeah. actually kind of more. There's more hot presence in this one than that than that beer did mm -hmm. have. Well, this is uh, a little bit more bitter. It's not nearly as sweet as that other one. No, and I actually kind of like this one a little bit better yeah. now. This one, there's it's, there's a nice balance in this one. I'm getting the caramel notes, the maltiness, this the is, slight bitterness. This is actually closer to the Von Trapp one that we had that we really liked. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that is, this is a good one. I like this one. It's not too sweet. That hot bitterness holds the beer together but it doesn't kind of intrude on what this style is supposed to be. Yay, Virginia Craft Beer. Yes, we win at life. Something in the water down here. We got great brewers, we got great breweries, great people. The industry down here kicks ass. When we get beer like this, just like knocks out of the park, it's like, yeah, why what, it why, what are we even doing? Going, yeah, going to like New York or like anywhere else to get beer. Actually, New York has some really dope ass breweries too though. We have some of the most coveted, I think, breweries. I mean, we have the Vale, there's Stone, well, kind of, half of Stone yeah. is here. So there's that. Triple Crossing, Aslan. We got all these, you know. Solids. Yeah, Ocelot. Ocelot. Rocket Frog is here, Fairwind. This is really good. Yeah, we gotta check these people out at their brewery. Yeah, we should go down there. Not too far away. It's probably like, what, like an hour, hour 45, two minutes away? Hour Goochland? Two hours away. Goochland, Virginia? Let's, I don't know, let's see. It's near Richmond. Yeah. It's like right outside Richmond. Yeah. Oh, snap, so while we're there, we can check out all the other breweries that we always go to anyway. Well, Midnight Brewery, excellent job on this Martin. Really enjoyed this one. We found it to be a lot more balanced than a lot of the Martins we've had uh, airing on the sweeter side. I like this one, this one's really good. Five and a half percent, great crushable seasonal beer. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little like button down below if you liked the video, or click the dislike button if you didn't like it. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. I know there's one motherfucker that always clicks the dislike button. What? Yeah, on each one. He went through methodically and was like, click, 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 click on each one of our videos. Who is it? Oh, bastard. He's not a subscriber. He's just some dude that didn't like our stuff for whatever reason. He doesn't like our faces. Mm. So you can suck it, man. Any little like, any dislike or like will boost the channel a little bit. 
So he's like inadvertently like, I hate this. These guys should disappear from the face of YouTube. But in reality, he's really like helping us out. So I don't know, maybe keep doing that.